Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you, well, not from my survival world. Oh no, this is a completely different world, and it's not even my own. I am actually hooked up via LAN connection to my husband's creative world today. A few weeks ago, my husband started playing Minecraft, and he is having a lot of fun with the creative mode, as you can tell, because after only a few short weeks, he has a very huge mining complex down below, a fairly significant sized structure, which he calls his castle, and huge American flag, and of course, the Barcelona logo, and he's currently working on the soccer field. Now, on top of that, he's been working on a few other things, and today, we are going to help him out by going over and working on the interior of one of his creations. So hang on there with me just a moment while I gather myself up and make my way over to his lighthouse. Now, when I say this is my husband's creative world, it actually did start out as a survival world. Unfortunately, he couldn't wait to gather all the resources. He wanted to try and build things. So we occasionally basically switch back and forth between survival and creative. And we have some uh, people who pop into this world when they come over to visit and they do the same thing, pop in, but they work in survival. So after only a few weeks, this is one of the things that my husband has constructed, this lighthouse. Now, at this point, the exterior is not 100% complete. He has some plans to add another layer to this uh, since he created the, the base of it and decided that the top just needed another layer in order for them to pr be proportional to each other. And then uh, also what he decided to do, um, build a little island for it, put on a dock, and he's decided that he wants to have... Oops, missed it just a little bit. I need to go back under yeah. this flying thing. You can tell I haven't done great of much, can you? He wants to create an underground area as well. So what we are going to do today, our place in all of this is on the inside and the underground area. So let's go inside and see what he's done. First of all, of course, he's lit it up completely, even though we are in creative mode. He lit it up to prevent spawning. Um, he laid down the floor. This is definitely what he wants to go with for the floor. He likes the emeralds and the quartz combination. Uh, this glass, however, is, of course, removable and replaceable. Uh, we don't have an entrance at the moment to the basement, as it were, and the full scope of that is not developed out. So that is something that I've been thinking on. And the other thing that he really wanted to create in here, which he's had some limited luck with, is he really wanted to create a smooth flowing elevator. It would show the person flowing up. Originally he wanted it against the back wall so you could look out the windows while you're going up. That uh, was not something that, that worked. And he didn't want a big redstone contraption that would take up a lot of space. So he is using these command blocks. Click the one on the right and you go up a floor. So we are on the second floor. And in this case, the command blocks are behind it. And again, up we go to the third floor. And then finally, the fourth floor. And this is, of course, the redstone for the light. And currently, although I am i don't think there's actually a switch to take me back down. So, sorry, hun. Going to have to break a hole in the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> we'll fix that later. All right. Then you use the buttons to go back down until you're on the first floor. All right. The plan. I've been kind of using shulker boxes to kind of gather some materials. Um, I don't have a strong plan. We're just going to kind of wing this a little bit and see what comes of it. Um, the idea that he had was that there would be one, maybe two people living here maintaining the lighthouse and the science center, which I think it's going to be, the science center is going to be underneath. This is going to kind of be a gathering area for people who might be working in the science center underneath. I was thinking of doing some dive suits and things like that. Um, certainly we'll need some some books and, you know, that kind of thing. Then as you go up, you end up in the living area. Now this is a little bit vaulted for someone to try and sleep in this room, so we're going to have to think about that. 
but I was thinking that this first floor would be simply the living quarters as far as a living room, a place to eat, that kind of stuff. And then go one up and we end up maybe in the bedroom or some kind of secondary living area. Seeing that he's put wood planks up there, I'm kind of thinking this could be the bedroom. But again, you know, that is a really, I mean, could you imagine? Okay, I'm sleeping and this is what you get to stare at. So we're going to have to think about that because it's definitely going to need some lighting and I don't know about you, but I personally am not going to be able to sleep with all these torches going on. That's just not going to work. So a lot of things to think about and we may not get to it all in today's video. Uh, I think what we will do is we will simply start with the basement, which will in my mind be kind of, oops, excuse me. Well, first of all, there'll be an under basement, which of course also needs cleaning out. But the top of the so-called basement will be the observation or laboratory. And this is where people will go to observe underwater and do sciencey things <laughs> to be technical. Um, so what I've done for a start is I've made it bigger. Um, I've gone the full width of the first floor and I'm just clearing out the old glass and of course using sponges to soak up the water that remained on the inside and just making sure I haven't missed any spots. Um, I put sea lanterns out there on the outside so I could see what I was doing. I'll have to go back and clear those out when I decide what I'm going to do outside of this area. But for now, I have cleared it out. So it's a much larger space and I think it'll make a good underwater or under ocean observatory. Say there are people coming here to study this aspect or area of the ocean for the purposes of preservation and understanding or whatever, they will come here to do it. So definitely going to make this a laboratory observation area and then down below we're going to do storage um, and also I'm thinking some sort of airlock I don't know exactly what but some sort of airlock where people would go through in dive suits and access the act the ocean that way so I have to figure that out um, all right so the next step I need to redo the floor in here oh oh derpy dude what are you doing look at the squid what is he doing ah oh, my goodness all right well anyway like i said the next step for me is to go ahead and put a floor in here maybe go back outside and clean up some of the area around and make it just a little bit uh, more interesting and um either hide or remove the sea lamps altogether. It depends on how much visibility I want beyond the glass panes. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get the cleanup work done and fill in some of the bits and pieces to make this work a little bit better. And then we'll put in the details. I shall return it. All right, so we are at a transition point with this design right now. Um, we're standing in the basement, which is going to be storage. So it'll have crates and boxes and things, as well as being the exit area, I think, for some kind of airlock where people will suit up and I'll have suits on racks and stuff and go outside. So the question becomes, what do I want it to look like? Do I want to use iron blocks, either over stone, so it looks like it's the whole thing was, you know, we built into bedrock for this sort of thing. Um, oh, I just thought of something. I need to put stone pilings probably at the corners of the island. Yeah, because there's no way all this glass could hold up that lighthouse and I don't really want to give up all this glass um, I did put some iron here but I'm not giving up all this glass so I'm gonna have to do some kind of stone pilings but anyway back to the question at hand do I do the basement like this or do I do it mostly stone with just a top layer of iron 
Do I do it all iron? I don't like that very much. Or do I do it all stone? Nah, I don't, that's too boring. And I kind of like... I did what I I went outside and I did a couple of layers of iron all the way around outside the glass. The idea being that that the structure um, is stable on. It's like putting iron girders in something. You know, I don't know if it's a structurally good concept or not. I, I'm not an engineer or an architect, but I thought it was good. So now I'm just deciding. See, I don't like the all options. So then it's the partial options. Do partial st but mostly stone? You know, I think I'm going to go with the partial but mostly stone because I'm liking this idea that the whole thing was carved into the bedrock of this, the ocean. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. But if you have a different opinion, even after this is built, if you see this video later, go ahead and, and, and tell me what you thought and why. I'm always going to be curious. Okay, so we are back in the under basement and I'm kind of thinking through how I want this space to work. So here's where we're at. This is of course the observatory room for underwater. And down here I want to put a door and I think I want to go with this wall here. Now watch me drop a whole bunch of... Oh, this is where it's very good that I put in I guess all that... Uh, all that iron because that just kept us from uh, from overflowing too much and actually I want to put in you know I gotta say creative mode is, is, is it's very refreshing not to have to worry about resources <laughs> I gotta I cannot tell a lie ah, I'm breaking stuff though I gotta get I gotta get in there and get this water gone um, it's it's really nice not to have to go and get all my resources every time but I, although there is a great satisfaction in survival mode in doing that but this is kind of a nice change of pace in survival so we'll see how this goes and then pressure plate pressure plate so you walk through they close behind you that is very good and then I wonder how that'll work. Of course, the challenge is to get the doors down. Let's do this. Let's stand on the door and knock out those blocks and then walk away. And oh, we should probably put plates on the outside to let ourselves back in. Although that's, okay, that's going to be a problem because, you know, I'm going to shut myself out. Oop, let's put a black list. Okay, let's float out and see what that looks like. Ooh, that's kind of neat. So that is how people get out once they're suited up. Oh, that, that works. Oh, that went much easier than I thought it would. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, let's go back inside. Oh, yeah, I need pressure plates in here too, don't I? Oh, I might need to <laughs> widen this so that I can put pressure... Okay, hang on. We need to go out one more and make it so that we can... Hmm. Walk in and out with pressure plates on either side. So there it is. There is our sealed entry exit. Now, I've been talking about putting, uh, putting suits up. And what my thought for that is, is this. Use. Throw all that away for the moment use some leather armor but I need to dye it so I need I need a crafting station there we go we don't need that right now and I need white or I don't know if there's white dye I don't know and you know there's something else I didn't use throughout this I could have used some white concrete or concrete powder, but I'm still just not in the habit. 
So let's go with light gray, light blue, and some cyan. And let's just see what we can do with that. So let's drop and on the boots. I'm not convinced about the gray at all. The gray just, you know, didn't quite work. Didn't, didn't, didn't. But this might. Oh, that's not bad. You know, with my texture pack, it makes the, the dark, what would be, I think, a darker brown, a darker gray to black. So that's not so bad. Let's try a different one over here. Just a different combination of the same things, I know, but let's mixy matchy a bit. And what if we just went with a brown? Hmm. I think I'm going to have to talk to Hubby and get his opinion on what he thinks the dive shoots should look like. But that's the general idea of it. And then I was thinking I could take and encase them in, let's go with light blue. With light blue glass, kind of do this as if it's in a glass case, like that. And then we could take more of the slabs. I'm beginning to think that we're just going to get the basement done today and we're going to have a couple more videos in the future to finish this out. Something like that. That works. As far as the encasing, I'm not entirely convinced when it comes to the colors and the combination making it the right look for the dive suit in general, but I do like the casing we've just built for it, the kind of glass case. If I can just hit the right spots, then we'll finish that part up. Okay, so we'll keep that. Now, you may have noticed that I have a table kind of thing over here. So the next thought I was having, um, I want to put carpet down. Uh, but, you know, obviously if they're going to be getting in and out of the suit, it's assumed that they're going to need a place to work on the... Um, the air tanks and making sure all the fittings are good and a bench to sit on when they're changing so that's kind of what we need to put in so um, we're going to use first of all this setup um, not right here though I think after putting those where they are now I think I will put the working tables I want them to be three, I want them to be able to use them and walk around them because that is what, if it were me, that's what I would want. Um, I'm kind of thinking along the lines of, you know, if you have to work on something, you need full access to it. So let's put the tables here. So I need the piston and I need the lever. Okay, so this is simple enough. I think we've all at some point or another seen this. So at least I figure if I've seen it, then everybody else has. Because as we know, I am a newbie. So there we go. We have two interesting looking work tables. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. But we still need a place for them to kind of sit down and put their gear on. So the classic for that is, of course, to do... Um, some kind of stair. It might be interesting to do nether brick. That's interesting. Not sure I like it. That's predictable. Hmm, I'm thinking, and of course I'd want something to sit down on over here when they come in, but they're all wet then, so that's might be when it makes sense to have these. Is that stone back there? That's not stone, and that is stone. We want to change that. All right, so. I think I like that arrangement. So these would be thus. And that adds some color to the whole thing and some texture. 
the idea is that there's a storage closet and then there may be stuff in there and oh you know what we could use like an air regulator looking thing is is let's see potions brewing stands i don't see why not why not why not at all and we could put some water breathing potions on them potions of regeneration just, just, just you know so that can actually can i sit it on? i can i can put it on there that's so cool all right now can i attach these just for the, the look i guess they're always red but that's like the reg you know that's the regulator for the uh, the, the 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 underwater dive thing oh you know my boss is going to be so disappointed because i really don't know all the terms and so if he ever finds out i did a video that include dive information and i didn't even know what to call this which is my attempt at some sort of dive suit wetsuit thing i think there will be mass disappointment there okay so one more thing let's take a look at some carpet options Let's stick in the blue families because we have been working with the blue families and possibly a touch of gray. Um, we have purple in the chairs over there. I don't want to get too schmancy down here. This is kind of a, you know, this is an area where they're going to be tracking water and making a mess. So we want it to yeah fit that plus i want carpet everywhere uh for the simple thing that i know or i believe that mobs do not spawn on carpets so i'm loving the idea that it not do that hmm all right well while i'm thinking about that because the end rods could could really come in handy i could use the uh paintings the only problem with the paintings is that I have made my paintings very custom. I have done some things with them that um, are not going to uh, show up on other people's uh, when they, they, they log in and look at this uh, area. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a good idea. Oh, that's right. The button's on there. Um, so I'll have to think about whether or not to use any pictures um because i do have quite a few to choose from but like i said i can put up this but it's because it's in my custom pack anyway all right um the next thing the next thing oops sorry wrong thing back to the game i want to put in is some storage looking things so one of the things that comes in the b double o resource pack is that he has turned the note block into something that looks like a crate which is fabulous it's exactly what i need in here i love it so we just have some random crates stuff stuff more stuff you know and they make noise but that's okay all right so we have some crates storage nothing exciting We'll lay some out, and maybe we've also got, oh, I need to shift click, shift click. I don't want to block the light either. And then maybe on top of that we have a couple of brew stands. Hmm. All right let me i need to stand back for a minute i also need to go get my laundry put away so i'm going to step back for a minute and see what we've done and go get a couple go get my laundry taken care of and come back to this in a moment well this has certainly been an interesting day um i started out thinking i was going to decorate the whole thing today that's not the case um but this lighthouse has been a fun project so far and i think there are going to be a few more videos on it because i don't think we're going to get more than the uh the science basement done today but i have done a few things on the outside i wanted to show you real quick i took all of those torches off and uh, he really liked hubby really liked how the torches lit the outside of the entire span uh but 
you know, torch spamming, yeah, not a favorite thing. So I put sea lanterns in on each level and hopefully he won't object. And then of course I laid carpet here and I laid carpet all along the top uh, light, which I don't know why the redstone's not firing. I'm hoping I didn't break anything when I went up there, but I put carpets down everywhere, everywhere to help things uh, not to spawn. I've still got to get the torches at the base of the whole thing out, but I'll do that in a little bit. In the meantime, of course, we set off today with the great adventure and the idea to start decorating the interior. I thought I was going to do the first floor. Obviously, I didn't even get to it. I did remove the glass. I didn't like the red glass that was in here. Um, and I changed out this uh, from the glass to that. And then I hid uh, the the um, function box or the, the, the those, those, those right there, those things by putting trapdoors up over banners. I kind of like that effect. And certainly the green works in here with all the emerald flooring. Now, if we come around to the back, I've built some stairs, traditional stairs. So now we are under the expanded uh, underwater observatory section of the lighthouse. Um, and you can see sort of some of it. I hope this comes across in the video that you can see uh, through the glass at the very least, you might see some of those sea landers that I put over there. That's the area I'm thinking of putting some kind of sea creature in. Um, and then fully decorated now. Let's show this to you. You've seen it up to a certain point, but then I came back and I stepped back and I added some more stuff. So when you drop down here, um, I used some of the redstone paraphernalia as well as the the uh, observer block and this the the lanterns that go at the top of the, of the lighthouse to kind of make it look more like there's equipment in here so we have the divers side with the two dive suits uh, places to sit and change and to work on the gear and of course the double doors although oh goodness i don't know what happened there probably a squid died and left the door open, but our double door system out into the water so that the divers, once they're suited up, they can go in there. Um, and then the other side, of course, is all storage and, you know, chests. I should have thought of that to begin with, but I didn't. Uh, drop down a comparator and a repeater to add some, some more detail um, using trapped chests all over and some more tables and you know just it I think this works I really am actually quite pleased with it um, the video ran longer than I thought it would uh, I always think it's gonna take less time to do things than it is but for now we're gonna call this the end of this particular episode uh, this was a creative build and MC blocks gets blocks a lot um, beautiful lighthouse which is still somewhat under construction uh, the next video in this particular grouping will be the next floor so stick around for that one folks and I will see you then